She's spitting her gum out. Oh, not my face. <laughs> I'm not doing no face. face. No face. Okay. So this is the humerus. This is actually the humerus on the left arm. But I will show you the anterior view. So these structures we have to know are this is the head, the rounded portion. This is the neck. This is the neck. This bump right here is the greater tubercle. This bump right here is the lesser tubercle. And on the anterior portion, we have this roughened layer here, and that's called the deltoid tuberosity. And this body is called the shaft. And then, if you look towards the distal end, you can flip it. We're gonna flip it. Oh, we're going to do that too. Yes. We have the these three bumps here, and this is the condyle. These two are the trochlea. This bumpy part is the capitulum. It's like a cap. And then we'll do the fossas. This is the coronoid, coronoid fossa. This one that you can't see very well on top of the capitulum is the radial fossa. And then on the posterior side, this is where your elbow would fit in, and that's the olecranon fossa. Back to anterior. We have these protruding edges on the side. These are called the epicondyles. This one is the lateral epicondyle, and this one is the medial epicondyle. That's it.